In this video, we will take a closer look at a visual strategy for problem solving called the tape diagram and see how it applies with fraction word problems. In this video, you will learn about the read, draw, write process for problem solving and how the tape diagram can be used as a great visual model to help students represent their thinking when problem solving. Students are introduced to the read, draw, write process for problem solving. Students first read the problem to understand what the problem is about. Then students reread the problem, trying to represent the problem visually. Students may read and draw and reread some more. Next, students try to write an equation or equations if it's a multi-step problem to help them solve the problem. Finally, they write their answer to the problem in the form of a statement. This helps them to make sure that they've answered what the problem is asking of them. Now we're going to apply the read, draw, write strategy. Let's read this problem together. Mr. Adams bought a case of chocolate that had 36 bars in it. One fourth of the case is Reese's peanut butter cups and three fourths of the case is Hershey bars. How many Hershey bars did he buy? Now that I've read the problem once for understanding, I'm going to reread the problem and try to represent the problem using a visual strategy called a tape diagram. A tape diagram is a rectangular model used to help visually represent numbers. So in this case, I'm going to be representing my 36 candy bars using the tape diagram. And if I keep reading, I know that one fourth of the case is Reese's peanut butter cups and three fourths of the case is Hershey bars. So if I divide my tape diagram into four equal groups, this will help me understand what one-fourth of 36 is. And I know that one-fourth is equal to the Reese's peanut butter cups, and I know that three-fourths is equal to the Hershey bars. What I don't know is what is the value of each one of those fourths. So if I take my 36 and I divide it into four equal groups, I find out that 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. So each one of these fourths is equal to 9 candy bars. So therefore, one fourth of the case being Reese's peanut butter cups would be equal to 9 candy bars. But the problem is asking me, how many Hershey bars did he buy? Well, I know that he bought three fourths of the case as Hershey bars. So I'm going to take my 9 and multiply it by three of those fourths, and I would end up with 27 Hershey bars. Let's take a look at a different type of problem. Jake is icing 30 cupcakes. He spreads mint icing on one fifth of the cupcakes and chocolate on half of the remaining cupcakes. The rest will get vanilla icing. How many cupcakes will have vanilla icing? So now that we've read the problem once for understanding, let's reread the problem and try to represent it visually. So I know that Jake is icing 30 cupcakes. So I'm gonna represent that using my tape diagram. I also know that he spreads mint icing on one fifth of the cupcakes. So I'm gonna take my tape diagram and split it into fifths or five equal parts. And I know that one fifth would be equal to the mint icing cupcakes. To figure out the value of how many cupcakes that would be equal to, I would need to take 30 and divide it into those five equal groups and find out that each one of those groups would be worth six cupcakes. So therefore there would be six cupcakes that had mint icing on it. If I were to keep going, keep reading in the problem, it says that there were chocolate on half of the remaining. So if I were to look at half of the remaining cupcakes, would be chocolate, I can see that that would be equal to 12 cupcakes. And then it says the rest will get vanilla icing. How many cupcakes will have vanilla icing? Well, all that would be remaining would be this part right here, which would be equal to 12. So I know that 12 cupcakes will have vanilla icing. 
Now that you have seen some examples of the tape diagram being used in fraction word problems, there is something we want you to keep in mind. A tape diagram works as a graphic organizer to help students better understand what a problem is asking of them. In this video, hopefully you learn more about the read-draw-write process for problem solving and how the tape diagram can be used as a great visual model to help students represent their thinking when problem solving. 